Coming up this Friday, April 1st, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Central, Fox Business is airing the Libertarian Presidential Debate on the Stossel Show with John Stossel. And no, this is not an April Fool's joke. Yes, this is actually happening this coming Friday, April 1st, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox Business. So it's pretty cool. We're going to have at least three Libertarian Presidential candidates Gary Johnson, former New Mexico governor and the 2012 Libertarian Party presidential candidate who got the most third-party votes ever, 1.2 million. Then John McAfee, computer programmer, best known for the first commercial antivirus program named after him, McAfee. And the third candidate that's going to be up there for the Libertarian Party, Austin Peterson, a political activist and small business owner. By the way, all three candidates' websites, along with the Libertarian Party's website, is linked in the description section. Now, what is the significance with this debate? Well, obviously, it's the first nationally televised Libertarian debate in 2016. We've had a ton of Republican and a ton of Democrat presidential debates, and both those parties seem to always get the spotlight from the mainstream media, but very rarely does that light shine upon the third parties. But with the growing discontent that the population has regarding the two parties, the Republicans, Democrats, and their presidential candidates, we see more and more people out there on the left and right pulling away from those two parties and looking for an alternative. And in my opinion, the best alternative where you can bring left and right together to meet in the middle in order to find common ground and you know come up with actual solutions to the problems that our country faces, unlike the other two parties, which are a bunch of you know spoiled kids that love to you know name call, demonize each other, and squabble while the nation descends further into unemployment and debt and collapse. So we need an alternative to the Republicans and the Democrats. They've had way too many opportunities, and I think a huge part of the problem is the fact that we continue to vote Democrat or Republican with each and every election. That is why I have officially decided to rejoin the Libertarian Party. I am done with the Republicans. I have never been a Democrat, and I think that both parties should be shunned, turned against, and allowed to be sunk to the bottom of the political sea. Now, the reason why I support the Libertarian Party more than all the other parties is because I lean Libertarian on a lot more issues than I lean Conservative or Liberal. So, the Libertarian Party is the best party for me. The other reason is obvious. It is the third largest political party in the country, founded in 1971 by David Nolan and several others as well. It has grown to be a force to be reckoned with. Now, it has yet to win any congressional seats, unfortunately. However, recently this year, Nevada State Assemblyman John Moore switched from Republican Party to the Libertarian Party this year in 2016. So that's a small thing, a very tiny victory for the Libertarian Party, but that's what you got to do. You got to start with small victories in order to build up to big victories. And I believe if more people get on ballots in you know, local elections, state elections, and federal elections, as libertarians get out there and grind and actually run, our chances of getting more libertarians elected to office will increase. Maybe not in 2016, but perhaps in 2018 or 2020, especially with how ticked off more and more Americans are getting with both the Republicans and Democrats. Now, obviously, the deck has been stacked against third parties for quite some time in the U.S. For one thing, we're not allowed on all you know, ballots, but the Libertarian Party is the closest of the other parties besides the Republicans and Democrats to have an almost full 100% ballot access across the country. So you see the map up here, and all the green are states where you can run as a libertarian. Whether you're running for president, Congress, the Senate, a state or a local election, you can run for libertarian in all the green states. Now, there's still some effort to get the Libertarian Party on the ballots in the red states, but the blue states like South Dakota and Maine may very well have the Libertarian Party on the ballots in those states. So that's a very promising sign. 
The other issue is something I mentioned a moment ago, the mainstream media and the lack of coverage third parties like the Libertarian Party and the Green Party get. But in the age of internet, social media, YouTube, third parties like the Libertarian Party have been able to gain more attention and spotlight than on the mainstream media, which less and less people are tuning into. If the Libertarian Party was to start having some victories across the country, and local, state, and even federal elections, that would merit more attention being shined upon the Libertarian Party by the various media outlets out there, which eventually could cause a bandwagon effect. A lot of people out there like the Libertarian Party, they're in the Democrat Party or the Republican Party, but they will not switch to join the Libertarian Party until they see some sort of success. Now, you could call these uh, individuals closet libertarians, because I believe that if they are libertarians and they're still in the Republican Party or the Democrat Party, now is the time for them to you know, tear up the Republican membership or their Democrat membership and give both parties the bird and join an alternative party that they have more of a connection with politically and philosophically, like the Libertarian Party or the Green Party or the other parties out there as well. As the duopoly known as the Republican and Democrats lose ground and control, inch by inch with every loss they get, whether at the local level, state level, even federal level, hopefully one day, you will see third parties like Libertarians and Green Parties rise up and perhaps not take their place completely, but will break the stranglehold that the Republicans and the Democrats have had over our government for far too long now. We need more than two parties in order to properly represent the people. Now, personally, I prefer holding up individuals over parties, but unfortunately, that's not how it works in this country the majority of voters will always flock to one party or the other. That's just the way it is. But if more voters start flocking to the Libertarian Party, I really don't have a problem with that. Now, the other issue, besides the lack of coverage from the mainstream media when it comes to third parties, is the fact that the Republicans and Democrats also prevent the third party and other parties from being part of the uh, actual presidential debates that happen in the fall. Now, the Libertarian Party is actually suing the Commission on Presidential Debates for inclusion to the debates coming up in the fall based on reasonable and objective criteria. Specifically, if a candidate is on the ballot in enough states to potentially receive enough electoral votes to win the presidency, he or she should be included. And as of right now, the Libertarian Party is the only other party besides the Republicans and Democrats that are on the ballot in enough states in order to statistically, hypothetically, win the presidential election. While I haven't always agreed with the libertarian strategy to focus a lot of their efforts on the presidential race, especially since you really have a very slim chance of accomplishing a victory or let alone getting uh, one electoral vote, the point is the spotlight. That is where the big spotlight is and the election season is on the presidential race. But if you eventually get a viable third party candidate up there on the stage with the presidential candidates from the Republican and Democrat parties and enough people say, hey, I like what he or she's talking about compared to those two clowns, you're going to get more people to rethink their position and possibly go vote Libertarian on Election Day. Not just for the Libertarian presidential candidate, but for all the other Libertarians that are on the ballot. The Ron Paul Revolution, which started in 2007, has sparked this growing surge in libertarianism across the country. Now, it's a slow growth, and it's taken a lot longer than some of us would like it to, but with each and every election, when uh, the people are disappointed and let down by both Democrats and Republicans, it's going to lead more and more people out there to start looking for other options besides the same old song and dance known as the two-party puppet show, the duopoly that's been allowed to go on for too long now. So once again, Fox News is holding a libertarian presidential debate this coming Friday. And if you are sick and tired of the Republicans and Democrats and you're looking for a viable alternative and you've never really considered the Libertarian Party, this Friday might be the opportune time for you to check them out, especially the top three candidates. 
Gary Johnson, John McAfee, Austin Peterson, see what they think about the issues going on in this country, their philosophy, their opinions, their views. Who knows, by the end of the debate, you may say, you know what, I like these presidential candidates way more than what the Republicans or the Democrats are offering. Maybe I ought to go check out what the Libertarian Party is all about. Not trying to sound like a parrot, but once more, the Libertarian Party presidential debate is happening this coming Friday, April 1st, 9 p.m. Eastern, on Fox Business with John Stossel.